It's a little bit difficult. No one's really ridden that much, but then once you get a groove going, it kind of feels the same. You figure it out. You remember what you're doing. bummed on going on a street trip this early at first, but now looking back on it, I'm pretty excited that we did it. It's a good start for the season for sure. We're on our way to the House of Powder. It's looking good. There's so much snow, so I can't wait to get out there and do some catboarding.
most beautiful day at the House of Powder. We still got a bunch of days left. I'm just gonna hang around in Niseko, hit up some other resorts, find some other cool spots and some cool zones. That's gonna be dope. First time in Austria was definitely pretty insane. We looked it up, there's like 400 some resorts out here, so in a lifetime you could never, you know, go to all of them.
enjoy riding powder and eating snitchel and drinking beer. There's nothing to hate. Brady just did some street style. Having Ika out there was definitely essential. You could tell he's spent so much time out there. It's a whole different world compared to riding in the street and riding rails. Really cool taking those kids around and it was awesome to see them have a good time in the backcountry as well. Proud of them actually on a couple of things. They uh, did better than I expected. Yesterday we left Austria, we backtracked two hours to go to Munich. Took the train and a couple buses from Munich to Geneva. It was a cool experience. I haven't taken many trains. We finally made it to DC Area 43 in Maribel, France. We don't really have a plan, but we're gonna head up to the mountain for the next couple of days and just celebrate the end of a good trip. You <laughs> really know what to expect. I think maybe he's gonna go over the falls, maybe he's gonna be too fast, but it's Vancouver city is insane. It's so beautiful, surrounded by water and mountains. Literally you go snowboarding, go skating, do any kind of big city stuff in one day. Kind of the perfect city. We just went up Mount Seymour and it's literally one of the funnest resorts I've ever been. And it's only, yeah, like half an hour drive right from the city. Seymour's so fun because you're in the air for half the run. When 
the really convenient things about Vancouver is Whistler is right there. Like it's only an hour and a half. When you drive around to go to those places, it's just mind blowing. British Columbia is a beautiful place. Whistler is for sure an iconic place. That's where a lot of good shit happened over the years. A lot of good pros come out of Whistler. I mean, if you snowboard, you know what Whistler is. Hey, it's pretty legendary to come out here and um, go sledding, especially with those guys. Okay, I need to stay focused and do well on the takeoff. The mission to film in Whistler. You gotta have your truck, your sled, the good old classic. And then you just gotta be out early, driving 100K some days on your snowmobile. It's a long day and you're usually down at like sunset. And when you get back in bed after that day, it's like you put your head on the pillow and you're out. When you're thinking about getting the shot and when you finally get it and you're riding out, it feels pretty amazing. It's definitely a good feeling. Fear of everything going wrong by then overcoming it. I don't think you get any rush out of a drug like that. I wish I could fucking bottle that feeling up and sell it. Be a millionaire. to do that. He's really good at backside slashes.
fucking heard that. You farted. You son of a bitch. Often you've like scoped that spot. Hi, Isla. I'm almost done. Yeah, only a pepperoni stick. <laughs>